No. Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome to my newest uh, little build uh, showcase. So, this is my Astral Tower. Um, I built it trying to sort of create my ideal style for what I think as the Astral Sorcery mod should look like. Uh, this is on the 1.12 Let's Play World, Shiva's uh, colonies over there. Uh, and this is where I had built my um, little Astral Altar. And I, just, I didn't like that it was just sort of hanging in space, uh, and I wanted to build a very decorative, uh, cool-looking tower underneath it, uh, just to give it a bit more presence and make it look more cool. Um, this was all built in creative mode. I didn't actually craft all these blocks, um, but I don't think it's cheating since it's just a structure. It's never going to do anything for me, and uh, I'm never going to break any of these blocks and use them for anything. So uh, that's my uh, defense for the, f the Let's Play. Um, well, she would cheats all the time, so who cares? So, uh, let me take you for a quick tour. It's really not that large, but I want to explain sort of the, uh, my thought process behind this sort of artistic style. I've never done anything quite like this before, uh, so it was, it was new, a new experience, but it was really fun. <clears throat> so, this, uh, tower is built entirely out of, of various kinds of marble, uh, from the Astral Sorcery mod, and, uh, it needed to conform to the shape of this uh, this astral altar, which uh, this is the size of the multi-block. Um, so I just started right underneath it and just sort of wanted to sort of merge it into uh, into the design. Uh, quickly, uh, very quickly, what I uh, discovered was I really liked using these uh, marble pillars and uh, and putting the little uh, chiseled blocks of of marble on the end. And it sort of ended up using a lot of stairs in various directions just to create interesting shapes. And the tower started out a lot thicker than this, and then I just sort of carved away at it um, into the shape that I, looked, that I thought looked good until eventually the central uh, column of this thing is only a 3x3 three three with only four of the, of the blocks actually in place, so it's extremely spindly uh, in the middle, which I really like, actually. Um, as you can see, it gets it gets a lot wider uh, towards the bottom and towards the top, but the sort of layers of detail are, are kind of separated a little bit and sort of distinct um, from this bit here with the thing, and there's a gap in there, and you get to the uh, sort of inner uh, layers of detail. It's especially uh, prevalent down here, where the layers are even a bit more separated with... Um, this cool designed uh, thing in here, which I think kind of looks like a candelabra or maybe some sort of sword stabbed down into the uh, into the thing, maybe. And then these outer layers and things just sort of added on just to add additional... Uh... I keep saying the word layers, but this thing really was built with layers of detail in mind, um, including when we added the, the vines to it. I've had to prune some of these vines because they're a little... Um, longer than what I, I wanted, or they're a little, um, I don't know, they don't, they don't quite look the way I want, so I'm, I'm slowly sort of pruning these things in order to get the exact look that I want, but uh, I definitely like the green added onto it, and the, the vines give it the appearance that it's been here for a while. Um, I know it doesn't match the environment at all, but I like to think that this tower has been here for a good long time. Uh, that's why I didn't actually le level out the ground. Um, I built the tower and just sort of allowed the ground around it to hide parts of it so that it, it looks like it's being sort of um, covered over with the earth. Uh, I like that look. I think that it, uh, it provides interest to the structure. You know, not every single um, bit of your structure needs to be visible. Some of it can be covered up. Um, if it's symmetrical like this in all directions, you know what it's supposed to look like, and then when it gets covered up like that, it adds more interest. Um, I like this hole up here at the center. I'm trying to think of something I could put in here, some use that I could uh, give this. I'm gonna break that block. Uh, but it's underneath the astral altar, so uh, it doesn't have a view of the sky, so I can't put anything like a light well in here, um, or a collector crystal, even though it would look really cool. 
because it wouldn't function, uh, because a lot of the things in Astral Sorcery require a view of the sky. Uh, still, it looks really cool at nighttime because you get the light coming up from inside, and of course you can see through it. Um, which I think just gives it a bit more of an interesting look. From the ground, it looks black because that's the color of the sooty marble. Um, so whenever you see it from the ground, it's going to look uh, like a black hole, uh, which I think also looks pretty pretty sick. Um, going over here to the bridge, uh, at first I wanted a sort of bridge that had like an arch that connected to the tower, but once I decided on this really wispy design for the tower, I wanted I decided that I wanted to create the sort of appearance or the sort of um, idea of an arched uh, bridge, which is why I, uh, I used these um, pillars and blocks to sort of create an arch uh, look, but not like a structural arch. Um, I think it succeeded. In, in giving the look that I wanted, so rather than a, a standard sort of castle tower with a, an arched bridge, um, this is just sort of a deconstruction. The the basis, the most basic element um, of creating that sort of thing, and I think it matches the uh, the design really, really well. As far as what goes around it, was I wanted to also, in keeping with that theme of sort of evoking the idea of a thing without actually doing it, creating a wall. For the walkway or, or railing to keep you from falling off. Obviously this uh, has a lot of holes, but when you're on this bridge it still sort of feels like it has edges uh, with these uh, pillars here and then the uh, the little stairs. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't want all the pillars. It felt like too many pillars, so I sort of broke that up. Um, and then sticking with the other themes, just use a lot of stairs and try to keep things as thin as possible. I didn't want it to look too bulky. Um, and I think I, I accomplished that, so yeah, I used the sooty marble on the top of the bridge just to tie it into the, um, the altar, but obviously I had to end it here because the altar needs to have this uh, brick here in order for it to uh, be, be a proper multi-block. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this tower. I, it's one of my favorite little builds that I've done, and I really am enjoying this uh, architectural style that I've created here, so I'm definitely going to pursue that uh, more in the future. Um, but this is a functional piece for me, just because it uh, pretties up my uh, little astral altar here, my little astral sorcery area. So uh, I'm thinking of continuing that. I'm going to continue that in this series. So it's a Let's Play series, so if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. We even got Saligo on here. Um, but my plan is that as I uh, create things for the functional purpose in the mod, uh, at certain at some point I, I may um, create a, a decorative structure uh, around it or something like that that uh, looks good but doesn't actually serve any functional purpose so thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, like and comment down below especially if you if you like this uh, this tower you know let me know what you think about it and the sort of um, deconstructed architectural style and yeah I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot lately um, but I've been working a lot my I have 50 hours uh, this week so it's just been a lot of time at work and I haven't had any any real time to sit down and uh, and actually play the game or do any recording, um, which I dislike, but you know I have to focus on what pays the bills. So thank you guys for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.